Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're super happy to have you back. This video is going to be a little bit different than some videos. Usually it's a vlog on our daily life and to be honest, I'll, we haven't been doing a lot because of the whole coronavirus and social distancing and having to stay home. There's not a lot that we've really been able to do other than work some horses and you know just kind of hang out with each other. But I did want to do a little bit of a different video today. Some people have asked in the past how much it costs to own a horse. How much it costs to buy a horse, to maintain them, to feed them, all that sort of stuff. So I figured why not make a video about it and show you what we feed and how much it costs us. Now these are going to vary a little bit depending on where you live and your circumstances. but. At least it'll give you a general idea. That way, if you're interested in buying a horse, you're not going in completely blind and gonna get over your head. First thing that you need to look into is what kind of horse are you looking at purchasing? Are you looking at a rescue program like a BLM or a bunch of these other rescue horse programs? Uh, then you're going to be kind of on the lower end versus if you're trying to buy a team roping horse or a high end performance horse or a dressage horse like this one back here. That's going to be one of the biggest factors for you starting right out of the gate. So determine what kind of horse you're looking at and for what purpose. One of the next expenses that you're going to have to look into if you're planning on riding this horse, saddle. Saddles can run anywhere from $500 all the way into the multiple of thousands of dollars if you go the custom route. For me, I went with two trophy saddles. They were both $1,000 and they will last me a lifetime. So you don't have to go real crazy. Just find a saddle that fits. If you have any questions about saddle fittings and making sure that your saddle fits your horse that you just purchased, ask a professional and they'll be sure to help you out. After the saddle, you need a steering wheel. Usually you can pick up a whole set, you know, bridle and your bit and everything from any tack store. It's about $120 for a good solid set. You've got your new horse and now you need to figure out where you're going to keep it. We've got turnouts like this at the house, but if you don't have that availability, sometimes you're going to need to go to a boarding facility. Boarding facilities run anywhere from $100 to $1,000 and even more on a monthly basis. Do your research and find a nice boarding facility in your area and keep your horse there. Hopefully they have some turnouts, some stalls, a little bit of both. All right, on to the big ticket item. You've got your horse, you've got him in a great spot. What do you feed him? I feed my horses total equine and alfalfa. The total equine is about $18 a bag and the alfalfa is about $15 a bale. If you feed one scoop in the morning, one scoop in the evening, and then one flake of alfalfa in the morning and one in the evening, you should roughly go through one bag and one bale per horse per month. Now we also have some other horses here at the ranch that aren't performance or they're retired. So we feed them coastal hay. Now it's a little bit cheaper, but you're probably gonna have to use a little bit more of it per horse because it's not as nutritional as the alfalfa, but it is a good option. I think it's roughly nine or $10 a bale versus the 15 of the alfalfa. And the last item is gonna be vet bills. Hopefully you don't have any major catastrophic bills in your future but general shots, vaccinations, and getting their teeth floated are gonna be items that you're gonna to wanna to maintain. Ask your local vet, someone that you really trust on their prices to get these on an annual basis. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for us today. A little bit of a different video, but we'll be back on track with normal videos as soon as all this coronavirus and social distancing stuff is over. Remember, stay inside, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. 
Also, if you have some more specific questions that I didn't answer, leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out.